No, even then, it's more like, like where's the soda, you know? Yeah. Where's where's all this unhealthy where's the, stuff? Where's the sugary drinks? But you know, stay hydrated, kids. Drink water. Yeah, just look at K9S Bruce. If you want to be like him, just drink water. If you want to be as good as him, drink water. Oh man. And getting back into this game number one, uh, AM versus K9. Going in with the Lucina, very very interesting. You know, I'm surprised to see the Lucina game one, just because I know he has a Wolf, and I feel like Wolf would do better versus Gunner. But maybe he wants Lucina just so that he can play the the close combat game. Yeah, exactly. He wants to play that weird mid range game where uh, if Aimer is in that mid range, he's able to just forward air him out of the way. He's able to just box him out and stuff like that. But fantastic, just run off charge shot. Aimer taking this early lead right out from uh, K9's uh, you know, grasps. You know, this is why I kind of like am shocked just because if you're not super on point with your edge guards or your recovery, like AEM will punish you super hard for it. I feel like his Lucina is not quite at that level yet. Like it's good, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to beat AEM. Yeah, I feel like K9's, uh, K9's Lucina is very, very good at just uh, I like the offensive, I like, you know, playing playing that where I was like, on the defensive, not so much. Right. But I really like how um, Aimer, uh, when we actually saw his set versus, um, I believe it was, who did, who did he beat? Um, he, beat some, he beat somebody. Oh, no, 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 he went to game three with T3 Dome, and right. he was using the reflector. Wait. No, was it? no, 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 Gear Flex, Gear Flex. Gear Flex, yeah. Yeah, he was using the Reflector, but he opts for the uh, Psy Magic Magnet now to, uh, to Magnet Cancel. Right. Oh, but Fantastic just short hop, side B, does so much damage. And again, there's the up throw, and yeah. that's going to be enough to kill. Now, one, dying at 180, it's still pretty good. He has a 77% lead and is able to get a small mini charge off of the Invincibility frames. Right. Manages to grab him right out of there and gets the up throw to up air. Not going to be enough to get the kill. Just not enough range, but the down smash will finish it off. Yeah, just instantly down smashes in that dire situation right there. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, you know your opponent's going to come at you, and, like, down smash is basically a stronger down tail. It, it comes out at very similar frame data. It's just, like, more punishable. So, or it's slightly more punishable. It's, yeah. like, it's like as hard almost. But wow, AEM just kind of running away with this a little just because he's able to stay very, very calm in the disadvantage situation. And once he's back, he's just able to kind of just throw out a bunch of projectiles, not let K9 get in at all. Ooh, but the side B will catch the normal getup. And yet again, a lot of me players will do that normal getup because they get extra invincibility frames off of it. But you know what? When you have a long lasting hitbox move like Dancing Blade, where you can go and mix up your timing, slow it down, and just catch that normal getup, like, yet again, you're going to have to pretty much hope that they don't time it right. Yeah, you use incorrect uh, English. You said every me player, it's supposed to be like you yourself, you know? Mm. Good, good joke, 10 out yeah. of 10. <laughs> But you know what, K9 definitely bringing this back. I feel like he's finally found his rhythm within the matchup. Ooh, making this very, very close now. AEM kind of just like, wait a minute, where did my lead go? That's the power of Lucina. That's the power of kind of just Ooh. having such a good punish game, able to just wait out that air dodge, that kind of panic option. And AEM losing that game one to K9's Lucina. Again, you know, I feel like... At first, like, K9 was, like, running into a lot of things and not really respecting him. But at the same point, like, we talked about this earlier. Like, his offensive is, like, super incredible. And if you can get in on the gunner, like, it's going to be so strong in the matchup. And sticking with the Lucina this game, just, in my opinion, just he's going to be playing this out with Lucina until he loses. And then he's going to probably switch to his Palu, probably switch to his Wolf, probably switch to somebody else. I have never seen K9's Palu. Oh yeah, he was he was just playing the Palu, and that's how he lost against uh, against Rockstar Ice, and then his Wolf wasn't warmed up. But getting back into this, Aimer versus K9 Bruce, K9 with the fast start this time around. Right? 
And yet again, AEM just throwing out this wall of pain right there. And, you know, Lucina wants to jump in, but, like, if there's a projectile on the way, it's going to be hard for her to throw out her bear and, like, throw out her zoning tools. Yeah, on top of that, both players are throwing out their aerials out of shield to kind of just get the other player to, um, to get hit by it, to get second disadvantage. And fantastic use of the up air through the stage. A very uh, Pokemon Trainer-esque move with the uh, Ivy Sword. Right. Oh, wow, no, that was a, such a... Barely misses the punish just right. because uh, Lucina was just, like, you know, facing forward a little. And fantastic capitalization on K9 Bruce to scout out that uh, that low recovery. You know, I feel like, oh, gets the dare. Oh, it's gonna be barely enough. not. Yeah. No, maybe it was a Naren sent. That's why it got sent out. But that forward smash will do it. Yep. Still keeping this relatively close, 40% to 0%, and all Aimer has to do is to not engage, like, K9 too, like, you know, too unsafe. All right. And you know what? That 40% could easily be made up with uh, a single uh, charge shot. And there we go. Yeah, a single charge shot, just like you said. Oh, but using the normal getup to now punish the, the aggression from K9 right there. Wow, just the falling forward air. A lot of Lucinas are able to combo a lot more consistently uh, in this game than uh, any other game that I've actually seen uh, Lucina in. Right. Just falling out of, for uh, of forward B, though. And yet again, just trying to get any move to connect on him. And, you know, I like what AEM is doing. He's mixing up his approach options, you know, noticing that, like, okay, when I approach K9, I like to jump, so I'm going to throw out this up tilt and get the kill off of that. Yep, he's able to utilize his aerial mobility exactly like very very weird he's able to use his shots to fly around just like lucas he's able to use a psi nat magnet just like the uh, earthbound characters also on top of that that uppy is so so weird in like its angles like lucario but k bruce catching that wake up option with the up tilt yeah. it's one of those things where like if you tech them like get it's a, like a one in three chance of you dying because like they can uh, up tilt one way, they can catch a roll the other way, and then can side beat the third way. So it's like pick your poison, and, like you're just hoping that they guess wrong. Wow, he just goes up and shield checks him with the first part of side B, but opts to try to go for a reset and eats a pretty substantial punish for that. And again, gets the bear, and no tries to use the upbeat to escape the ledge, but you know what? Still eats a punish, and now he's back off stage. I'm gonna see him dash back forward smash. Because K9 very, very famous for doing that, as is Wolf and uh, all his other characters, but fantastic use of the air dodge. Knew that uh, that Aimer was taking a little bit too long to try to drag down. Right. There we go, there's the fourth throw, gets him off stage. All he needs is one read. Oh, fantastic, just boxing him out with the back air. But K9 was still living. Oh, there's a tech chase. Oh, that's it. oh, oh no, no. That's not he didn't pull the trigger yet. Yeah, fantastic. Just wait a little bit. K9 Bruce, not ready for him to miss that. And right. wow, that just sucked him up, dude. That was like a, he was so far away from that up smash. I mean, that up smash very much has a very good frontward hitbox to like connect into the rest of it. It's not like Samus up smash where like you get hit by the first hit and you just kind of fall out. Yeah. On top of that, it's like a lot of smaller characters kind of like don't get hit by Samus's up smash either. But are we going to see the wolf? Yes, yeah, we are. My prediction was right. Yes. Give me a point. Don't worry, we're not keeping points here. I'm uh, I mean, the only points we're keeping is the, the game count, and it is one on one apiece. You know, and this game three is so critical because it's going uh, to de determine uh, if it goes to a game five who has counter pick advantage. Exactly. Counter pick in this game being so, so important just because, you know, Amor maybe wants something a lot more big with uh, certain characters than, uh, than like, you know, what K9 is playing and like, you know, maybe something super, super small uh, for, you know, his other characters. All right. Ooh, the super heavy uh, forward smash read right there. Gonna get punished really hard right there. But manages to sneak back on the stage with the charge shot. I know K9 was not expecting that. He needs a good 30% from it. But K9 still very much in the lead, Sting and center stage, dash dancing around. But Aimer being a little bit too slick. I really like just how fast fallers and 
a lot of these players now are utilizing jungle jumps so smart, just empty hopping into something else. But this could be an edge guard. Right? No, not yet. You know, I like how he tried to use the downbeat to kind of like throw out a hitbox like below the stage in order to two frame wolf. But you know what? Not going to be good enough to catch him. Gets the grab, throws him off stage, and oh, there he does it is right there. That but, time. You know what? I feel like there's just not enough hit stun on that move to like actually gimp him though. Like Wolf's recovery is bad. It's not that bad. Exactly. That could be able to uh, get him lower on stage, but that will be a rinse and repeat process that we might possibly see later along on the lines. But fantastic using the up air to catch K9 again, standing way too close out there trying to you know do something. But you know, Ooh, what? Hammer right. just doing that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like AEM has just been kind of over reliant on using that upbeat to get to center stage. I know I. K9's kind of catching on to that, got the super hard punish for it. Wow, instantly already 60% off of one conversion. Yeah, and again, he's just standing out ledge. He's getting hit by this way too much. But I'm really curious to see, maybe K9 is super big brain and he's letting himself get hit by that same option so that when he does it, he's able to run away and then run back and down him, you know? All right. But 88 to 31. Amers playing at the ledge, and K9 very, very smart not to approach too, too hard, just spacing that out. Oh, but that get-up attack is going to be punished by the down smash. You know what? That was a really, really bad get-up attack right there. Yeah, nothing was really happening. He was thinking K9 would push a button, but he doesn't really need to push a button at any point because he is in the lead right. and has center stage. And now just this huge damage output coming out from K9 is AEM does not have an answer to it so far. Wow, just Kozin trying to Tomahawk grab him. And same thing with AEM. AEM now an advantage. Unfortunately, gets hit the wrong way. And then Backer going to do it. K9 up 2 1 right. with a counter pick in his back pocket. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see the switch to probably Sword Fighter. A me Sword Fighter? Yes. Yes. You know, and he's thinking about it. Nah, he's just sticking to Wolf. He's just like, you know what? No nonsense. Just let me get to uh, let me get to losers finals and you know do my best. All right, sticking with the gunner. Game number four. There we go. There's the grab into the nair. And catches the double jump with the up air. And now he's off stage. And yet again, catches the landing with the forward smash right there. Yeah, I'm really surprised on playing on PS2 also, just because I think there's gonna there's a lot of stages that you know people in SoCal could utilize to their advantage. But I think it's kind of like a I want to beat you with raw skill, so that's why we want to go to PS2, in my opinion. I mean, there are certain characters that like they really don't mind what stage to go to. Oh wow, just. Both these players playing the laser slow neutral game, actually. AM being very, very good at running to the other side of the stage, utilizing the forward air because it's so unpunishable. And while just catching that with a down tilt, K9 still trying to run in there. Very, very aggressive life. And again, K9 has a lot of damage to make up. And he can't afford to throw out blasters either, just because uh, AM can heal off of that. Yeah, what do you, what do you think? Like, because the thing is, K9's really trying to get in as much as possible, but because of that, he's just getting batted away. He's uh, the other player, AM, just running away right now, literally, like running away with it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's going to come down to, you know, can AM find the kill? Because you know. He may be able to deal a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter if you don't get the kill eventually. Exactly. This is just like the Elegant versus T3 Dome game. Is uh, can K9 uses very very short range, but good engage to get in. But right now, AM showing no, you can't. I'm gonna just you know keep you away, and when you don't least expect it, I'm gonna come in and hit you. All right. Just charging that forward smash, just like. Ooh, gets the punish on the down smash right there. And he ate 23% off of that one forward smash, which was like pretty not in charge. So that's a lot more damage than I would have expected from that move. And that does as much damage as uh, some characters' as optimal combos. <laughs> you mean Sheik? Yes. Oh my god. But backer coming out, keeping him off stage, but that's not the sweet spot yet. 
really utilizes the uppy again to get back to center stage. I really want to see K9 a little bit more uh, patient instead of just instantly throwing out a throwing out throwing something out. You know. All right. Ooh, and you know what? I feel like that what was that what was what uh, AM was trying to go for earlier was you know using the uppy as like a bait option. Oh, and he finally managed to get it. Now he's getting the yeah. lead. You can't Not reflect that. Nope. It's, it's, Imagine if you could, though. Like, oh my god. Reflecting a smash. Uh huh, wait a minute. There's Olimar. <laughs> There's Olimar, yeah. Imagine, imagine being Olimar. A character needs a buff. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Don't, 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 don't hurt me, Twitch chat. It's just a joke. All right, but fantastic back air coming out from AM. Up three stocks to one. And I'm looking a little bit frustrated. And I could kind of see why he's just kind of AM run to the other side of the stage, throwing out a lot of projectiles, keeping him in. Uh, well, actually, no, actually keeping him out. Yeah. And then that use of the downbeat just messed up with all of K9's uh, aggression right there. And now kind of reset neutral back to uh, a state where, like, AEM has, like, the control of the match, you know? And K9's just struggling to find his answer or getting a kill option, but none of it seems to be working at this point. Yeah, exactly. This looks so hard for K9 to just end these socks. And fantastic forward smash coming out. Just kind of like a Hail Mary, because you knew, like, he's conditioned K9 to just run in, try it, and kill him. And that's exactly what you want to do as one of these zoner type characters. But fantastic up tilt to finally get it. AEM, fortunately, doing the not correct option. I know I could have just said Ron option, option, but I'm a commentator. I want to be fancy, you know? Oh, yes. <laughs> Use your more words. Use my, though, more words. <laughs> yeah. But there we go. Getting the down tilt off of the... Wolf Flash, and now we are going to game five. Yo, but this is going to be K9's counter pick, so that means he can't switch up, like, you know, his uh, his move set, I believe. Or, like, he has I some mean, he restrictions. Could, he, could, he could do it if K9 does it, but yet again, they're just going to go into game five. All right, just going into this knowing, like, no, no, I could beat you yeah, and I could stuff beat you, like yeah. that. Yeah. So, you know, the SoCal special, I could beat you on this stage with my raw skill alone. I don't need no petty, you know, counter stage counter pick, you know? Yeah. Uh, getting into this. Knowing that, like, you know, last game, he uh, started out kind of like this, uh, K9, I mean. Right. And he failed to keep it up, and he kind of just let the lead come, like, get away from him from the... Uh, from the blaster lasers, you know, the, the projectile battle, because he wasn't ready for it. But now he's perfectly ready to play a slower paced game and is just a lot more happy with just sitting down, throwing out lasers, and then just slight burst options here and there with dash attack in the back here. All right. I know K9 is just looking to find his really aggressive options, but you know what? When he goes super aggressive, he just runs into all of AEM's shenanigans, you know? Yeah, he got hit by like four moves and already he's at like. 91, he got hit by up air, he got hit by forward smash. And he got hit by up smash. So to be fair, yeah. those four moves were all smash attacks. Yeah, oh, and unfortunately healing him just a little bit using the, uh, I like to call PSI magnet. <laughs> it's it's discount magnet, oh my god. <laughs> 99 cents for a magnet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those fridge magnets. It's not like that super high drawn collider magnet. It's the one that like you stick it on your fridge and say, hey, A for effort, I'll put it on the fridge for mommy. Or, or like the type of magnets that like you know, companies give out saying like, oh yeah, this is our business, and then you kind of just throw it away. <laughs> but wow, getting into this 130 percent, K9 just trying to extend his lead as much as possible after that fantastic up smash that he got on the platform. Right? Just playing away from AM, trying to not fall into his little tricks, his little huge hitboxes. Oh, but gets the down smash. Yeah, but falls into that little huge hitbox. Right. I mean, to be fair, that range on that down smash is deceptively large, too. Like, it covered, like, a good, like, hitbox and a half away. Yeah, that's, a, that's why I say, like, you know, little huge. <laughs> little huge. Yeah. Wow, just boots him to the, to the other side of the stage. 111 right now. Yeah, finally, just shielding that surprise up air from the ledge. And fantastic, just back here to catch AEM. This time, AEM's not able to play a slow game because if he's playing a slow game, K9's able to play a slow game too. And then, you know, Wolf being a better burst heavy character is just able to get there with a better dash attack, get be uh, better to, you know, space them out with, uh, with the back air. 
You know, when he got that fair, I kind of half expected a wolf flash just to end the game right there, but. You know, this isn't Charlie we're yeah, talking he's on, about. Charlie's in, uh, Charlie's in Japan. Japan. For, yeah, he, he's, I believe this is his last day in Japan, and then he's going to come back, like, today or tomorrow. Yo, I want I want to see Charlie just come home, and, like, he has, like, a VTuber girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> it's like, no. wait a minute, hold on. No, did you, did you see how much things he has acquired in Japan? Yeah, he had to delete all of them from Twitter because, like, Twitter blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh but God. wow, just K9 living. Just avoiding all these. Oh, he just gets hit by that falling up air, too. AM really likes that move. I mean, to be fair, it's a really strong move. Especially in this option right now. It's just like, you know, the uh, up air, uh, like, Pokemon Trainer up air camping kind of right. the thing. It's, I, I feel like the Miis are kind of like, they're all really good, but all their moves are just budget other people but because they're budget all the other people they're really good yeah. but 156 percent can am make a comeback by getting a few hard reads but That'll getting hit it. with yeah. that forward tilt KNIS bruce making it all the way over to losers finals yeah. after falling prey to the uh the randy inland empire people coming yeah. out from nowhere yeah. And now, here we go. Losers finals, K9 S Bruce versus Elegant. All right, so in this in this game, both players are very, very aggro. And it's kind of just like, can the other person, you know, make the other person interact more or like unsafe right. 